The West is so diverse. Out here, it's so immense, so vast, so beautiful. I just knew this was what I wanted to paint. The grandeur of it, the colorful characters, the intensity, the wild horses. It's magnificent because of the many landscapes found here. I've got an idea. I'm here to put that idea on canvas. I love the smell of paint, the feel of the brush. Whether you're a master painter or just a hobbyist who likes to create good stories, I think it's all about imagination. When I'm driving down the road, I'm just looking for something interesting, something that draws my attention, that I want to explore a little bit more. But I've been on a lot of roads where I'm the only one out there. I go places that a lot of folks don't care about, but I see something special there. And I go drive there, or I hike there, and that's how I get things that are, that are to me, important. I take numerous photographs on location. First I see something that catches my attention. Then I take that second, more introspective look. And that's when I start seeing the elements of it. The way it reflects the light, the hues, and the colors of it. And then you realize you've got something that's going to be interesting. I can take that back to the studio and start making a story. My studio is my workplace. It's a place where I take my ideas and turn them into a story. It's where I have my tools, and I use those tools to take what is in my imagination and put it into a canvas. It's a place of solitude, and it's a great place to work. When I sit down at my canvas and pick up a brush, I know I've got the right brush, the right tool. I've got the right colors on my palette, and that's when I begin to assemble the shapes and edges of all those things that are so important. You shut everything else out, and then you turn the imagination loose and you start constructing a painting. I would say the last 5% of a painting is probably the most important. Those tiny details, the little bursts of color and the pops of light that you put in there. That last 5%, that's what makes a painting compelling. Horses are magnificent animals. They're so fluid in the way they move. Even when they're standing around, they've got these quirks that accentuate their power and their grace. The lines that run to the legs, the head, the shoulders, the rump. As you see, I've got horses standing, walking, running through water. Ranch horses, wild horses. One of the things about art and being an artist is you go to places where you take time to pause, to look at the sky, to look at the mountains, to look at the changing light, because you know that there'll be a different perspective of it every time. You become so blessed to be able to just experience that. You're seeking things like that out. You take time to look for things like that. And the sky and the sun and the shadow and the highlights, and you get to enjoy the world around us so much more because it is, it's spectral, it's magical. The American West is timeless, and like the caveman that used to draw on the walls, we know a little bit about what it was like back then because somebody had the spark of an artist. My inspiration comes from seeing it, 
capturing the moment, photographing it. And when I know that I'm bringing the moment back to the studio, I can combine those photographs into a story. You have to capture the moment. The great artist George Carlson said he could instantly catch more detail in a photograph than he could sketching for a whole day. The instant gratification of taking a photograph and capturing that light, when it may be gone a second later, is what allows me to produce the light in a painting. Seeing all that God's created is pretty spectacular, and being able to replicate that for people to see is something you can't put a price on. It's just too much fun. My art is something I'm going to leave behind for my family and friends. It's always something I've hoped I could do. When people view it, hopefully it speaks about who I am, about my soul, what I cared about, and what I was able to do. Long after I'm gone, my art will be there for someone to enjoy. Original art is a legacy you pass on to others, and it lasts forever. That's pretty powerful stuff. <laughs>